likes of Jake. I mean, that's exactly what well, he that's wants. That's what he wants. He so, wants that fear. He's yeah. He feeds off of us. Now, but. I did talk to him a little bit. He seems a little nervous himself. He does, yeah. He does. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully he just plays his game. Yeah. He is going up against he's the He's got to get into the flow of things. This is definitely the biggest stage he's probably yeah. played on ever, you know? Yeah, most definitely, right? And he's gotten a lot of top eights and stuff. This is a, this is a different type of tournament, though. You're fighting against some of the best of the best. And Equan, man, I, I was watching his LCQ run earlier. It was insane the amount of wins he was getting. Barely lost to Wade, and he clutched out of game five versus Kite to like, actually qualify for the LCQ. So he was super hyped. He was, he was popping up. So I, I, I think he's hot. I think he's hot. When Wade won, he got up and popped off. So I know yeah. it was a close set. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it, was a good so one. it was a good one. Definitely could have gone either way. And it's good to see both of them qualified into the finals. Ooh, but Jay Ryan already yeah. taking advantage of Equalon's defense. He's like, you want to sit there and watch what I'm going to do? We'll double air dash on that. Nice. Gets the double air dash. Ooh. Nice. That's sick. That's really good because normally if you do a regular safe jump there, the, the head in full spin will actually go through it. Mm -hmm. Does an anti-air attack to actually media. Very smart from Jake. You see, here, very aware of the opponent's options, right? Doesn't want to get caught slipping. He wants to make his opponent earn every hit. Nah. The team composition is also a little bit similar on both ends. Uh, yeah. Equan, he's his Kefla is, I think, like one of one of the best for sure. And I think it's going to be uh, kind of like a wrench in a lot of players' game plans. I think and a lot of people aren't used to her, her dash teleport. Yeah. And uh, I've seen him use it to get through Vegito assist and. A lot of weird stuff you wouldn't expect. He's bulldogging right yeah. now. Catches Jake trying to do something. Just a little bit late on the trigger right there. Gets counter hit for it. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was like a 2-H or a couch L there, but yeah, yeah gets the so it's like a bitch. Oh man, Eagle on awesome. going to work right now. I mean, with seven meters on deck, he's yeah, got to finish the combo. Goal. A little stomp for that action. Yeah. But you know, Jake got the spark out of him. I, I think it's True. not, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's that much of a deficit here. I like that you brought up the Kefla because uh, I talk about like players playing the top tier characters and the, the metas of the double fusions into lab code, right? Oh yeah, and that's what we talked about with Jake, right? He's willing to bet the DPs right there, equal on nice and patient, gonna get the punish. But yeah, because of that, when you throw a wrench like a Kefla or an underplay character like we saw with Shanks, right? These yeah. people on defense, they're not as comfortable with these situations. Nice. They get opened up easier than they do up against like the fusions and lab code. Yeah, the fusions are obviously the star of the show, but there's there's a lot of characters that are kind of like anti-meta in some way, right? Hit, Kefla, you yes. know, they do well against some of the really strong options. Ooh, and Jake, he's, nice. he's pulled break. out every playbook already. Yeah. With it. Go, okay. go Gita, right? We saw the like the taunt in the middle of the vlog stream yeah. to try to get like a, a counter hit going. Uh, we see that right Jake there. Ryan's greatest hits. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's playing the tunes. <laughs> nice. Does the same side. Ooh, that's kind of new. Norm normally, it's like a cross of JH or same uh, side sword. Yeah. But uh, gets the gets the anti air there. And this is such a good starter. Yeah, the 360 spin, bro. This is putting a stop to anything that Jake wanted to do. Yeah. Equal one again. So loaded on the meter right here. Gonna pop three with the Gogeta. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, such a good starter. Like I'm doing like 60 percent here. Yeah. <laughs> Meta's not feeling it at all. Oh, nice yeah, reflex. Wake up reflex. Back. But yeah, you know, I think the thing with Jake is when he lands, like, kind of one of those, like, riskier plays or does something that lands that mental damage, yes. that's kind of when he gets into the flow of his gameplay, you know? When you're just like, what? You would really do that? Whoa, you did that? That's when, that's where Jake strikes. A hundred percent. Like, it, not only does mental damage to his opponent, but it buffs him up, right? Yeah, he it makes really him, gets makes an aura. Him in mm -hmm. himself. So, you know, I... I think he needs that small win to really make the make the difference here. Yeah, so he's got a lot of work to do here. Oh, does Duff the Kepler assist coming out, trying to catch him slipping. Oh! oh he of loves play. stuff speaking like of that! <laughs> <laughs> Always pointing at the crowd. Okay, okay. Level 3 all ah. line. Oh, the equal on! I like nice. that! Play your game. All right, Jake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some spiciness right back at him. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh he dropped it! Called the assist afterwards to cover himself. That prevented him from Ooh. getting punished, and I like it! I like it! I was like, let's play in the mud there, okay, Sam. Okay, okay, I'll I'm play down game. for this. Yeah. He said, I was a field failure with the game, but you know what? I am now. <laughs> yes, indeed. We are out here. That's okay. Good, that's good. That's a good adaptation. I think just mentally, outside yeah. of this, like, matchup strategy, you got to win that mental game. I think yeah. that's going to be really important versus Jake. Yeah, most definitely. Equal one was like, bro, I'm not going to get bullied. Like, if you want to play these games, these re invincible reversal type situations, I can do it too. And yeah, well yeah, done, I man. can play your game. <laughs> yeah. And then, as you mentioned, like, Jake is such a uh, proponent of, like, the mental warfare aspect, right? That it's yeah, important yeah, yeah. to play that game if you could do it confidently. The barrier oh stuff God, he got to, bro. He sparked Dude. up as well. Did you see how he confirmed that? You know he's gotten this happy oh birthday a million times. Oh, my God. You know, indeed, because that assist <laughs> is all so the much. way there. God, it's not the character's one. Bro, that assist <laughs> is gone. The level three as well for Labco. Yeah, you got to guess for game. Are you going to spark up? 
Whoa. Okay, we're chilling right now. Oh, but the Kefla assist. What in the hell is going on? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's headstanding. I, 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 I didn't want to say anything, but I was like, oh, God. What? Don't tell me not something. No one's okay. anything, all right? I feel that I didn't know yeah. Lapko. She did not want to leave the field, yeah. apparently. She didn't like going out as an assist. Oh, but tap the dome right now. Vegito is here. Oh, man. But yes, Jake still has the spark here. You know, he had to spend spark to do that happy birthday combo. I want him to see them do like a more regular Vegito level three. Makes sense. He does the dash. That is something that you can do versus it if you time the dash block. We saw that with Inzem as well, right? In these clutch situations, they'll wake up with the dash. Yeah. It's always been a thing for the OS, right? But they're using it in these like cross up situations right, right, now to right, avoid right. like the, the fake cross up. The, the big thing you have to do, it's not just left and right. Like you have to represent the media as well. Yes. You got to do the 2L mm -hmm. to media them, or yeah, they can just do that dash block, which would be both. Yeah, it's funny because we've progressed to a point now where players have so much respect for each other that they're getting away with a lot of non media stuff, right? Just because people are playing that much defense. So you do got to establish the real jail things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets the spark out of Jake, though. It's a big hill to climb, but... Ah, uh, yeah, that is one special. It's, yeah. You know, there is cross-up protection yes. in this game. Yes. This is, but if your body is on the other side of them, you know, you're, you're facing the wrong way, right? Yeah, you know, it, it's... Exactly. The, the the really fast assists, like a DP assist, are really good for cross up like that. Kepler's great at that. Super, super smart. Using the Kepler teleport. Oh, the reflect. He tried it again here, but it looks like a... Dash block ah, yeah. to me. I think he got oh, it. Oh, dash reflect, excuse me. Clean punish from Ecoon right now. He just gotta build the bar, clean it up. He's gonna go through the Sparky region. That is a 2-0 Ecoon coming from the LCQ, already putting a W on the board in the main bracket as well. Yeah, you know, the thing I feel, really strong player from Thailand. Uh, he had a really good showing at uh, Tiger Uppercut. That's kind of like where he got like a lot of his points to kind of qualify for this. And he has like a pretty interesting team. I I think this is the type of team that Fenrich would kind of get thrown off by. I, I he, Fenrich has had a history of losing to like a player where he doesn't understand their team yes. that well. I've seen him lose to like a like a hero hero, mm -hmm. you know, where he's like, whoa, I, I don't know what type the of team does, stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah it's just really weird stuff. So the team he plays, is Super Baby 2, Goku Black B, and okay. he plays Anchor Janemba. Beautiful. A, yeah, very, very weird team. But he also has the Team Esports on, on. Okay, well, now it looks like he's playing something completely different. Yeah, you different. guys haven't been able to see this <laughs> just yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. now you see it on the screen now. Yeah, Iguan, or excuse me, Estelex actually looks like going with some big bodies okay. plus lab code. Okay, never got mind. Got 16 what in I that one? Yeah, no, uh, I mean, they, they, we've seen it. It's really cool, too, because some of the players for Dragon Ball Fighters they can play the whole cast, That's right? True. Like, we've yeah. seen the Wawas. Yeah. We've seen There's a lot of players like that nowadays where they've been grinding the game for so long, and they're like, bro, whatever is on the roster, I can play. So we're going to see right now, and I always love seeing the 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to <laughs> and Apple, dunks like, and both of these characters are extremely entertaining. Exactly, I need to see some slam dunks. Yeah, and the 16 stock has also been going up a lot. Yes, for sure, right yeah. His B assist, super strong, shoots twice, mm -hmm. and like it, <laughs> it comes out really fast. So I, I think it's a assist that, I don't know if Fenrich is comfortable with. You yeah, know? yeah, that's a might, good point. Might, might take him off guard. It, it's one of those assists that specifically works better against players that are used to the timings of the popular assist, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. So, yeah. I can't wait to see this on display for sure. That's yeah, so those reflect timings in neutral if you're not used to it. And Napa A assist, another really good assist. Ooh, Ooh, and look at that, though. already coming through, right? Yeah. Yeah, Napa A assist, really good. Has a ton of block stun, and it's like this kind of tracking explosion assist. Yeah, super, and, super strong. Yeah, yeah, really good. It also like kind of like hides dragon rushes to it. Yes, it's yeah, it's just a big explosion of energy, so it definitely can hide mix-ups. But right now, Fenrich are definitely looking to stabilize the gameplay. Oh my yeah. goodness, and just takes it to the dome. Yeah, and one thing about Fenrich, okay. which has always been true, is that he is optimal. Oh my god, he is the most optimal Dragon Ball Fighters player, period, mm -hmm. since this game has come out. Yes. <laughs> I think any player can tell you that. And uh, you know, it's funny, I always remember when uh, Goichi would talk about, like, the, somebody asked him, what drives you to be so good, yeah. right? And he talked about how Fenrich is the person that drives me to be so good. Yeah. Because we get to the hotel room and he immediately busts out the setup grinding. and starts laughing. Always grinding. Like, the man is ridiculous. Yeah, I remember asking him, he training modes hours and hours a day. You know, I, I've seen, been watching him stream lately as well. Always grinding the most optimal TODs. Like, yeah, it, it is bananas, man. He's the guy that has, like, the TODs when he's been nerfed by 21 yeah. damage. Right, like yeah, he yeah, still yeah. has the team with that. Everything, yeah. Like he'll find it, and he'll find like weird combos that sell like with 20 perfect attacks. <laughs> yeah. He just loves that stuff, you know. Okay, but get the spark out of Estelex here. 
Let's see if we can make something happen with the original raid boss, yeah. bro. You I want to see it. Oh, I think a lot of people forget. You know, 16. Obviously, he's a grappler, right? He's got the command grab. Yeah. He's got high lows also. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's got the 2 0 low. He can mix you. <laughs> yeah, that's what made him such a menace at the beginning, right? Yeah. Of course, the command grabs were always the highlights, but this character had some mix. We're not gonna get to see that this game. Yeah. Because right now, oh, Fenrich man. is uh, being surgical about this this mantle man. Finish clocking in right now. They got Anchor Nappa. Look, I, I can tell you from experience, Anchor Nappa ain't it. No, no, <laughs> it's rough. It's rough. No. It's rough. The thing is, is he really benefits from having assists and like a team to let him kind of yeah. deal with his main problem, which is his neutral. His neutral is a little sure. bit weak. But when he hits you, oh my God, he's like one of the best characters. Like once they once he hits you. <laughs> yeah. It's just in a situation like this, right? It's so difficult. Fenrich, all three Ooh. characters. My goodness, Ali you to himself right there, yeah. getting the two S after the key blast. And that is a clinical game one. That's cool. That's cool. He does the JH into the, the split finger shot. Yeah. Because if they reflect, you know, the split finger shot will still put you in like a good situation. That's pretty cool. And he had to confirm off of it. Yeah, exa too. exactly. Right. And so then it, if it hits, still got the combo, still got the kill. That's a goat. Like, yeah, exactly. Right. Like, we're sitting here as fighting game players. Like, damn, we need to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be like that. Right. Like, he is definitely <laughs> just an inspiration to so many. Yeah, he sticks with the team, though. You know, I, SLX has a few different teams. And I guess this is the one he's going to be rolling with the Android 16 and Nappa. I want to see some of this Nappa play, though. Yeah. I need to see some of the Cyberman and restand action. Hopefully we get to see that, right? Because as you mentioned, Nappa Anchor, I mean, I know he's not ideally trying to make a 1v3 comeback with the character, right? So I want to see him get this hit, try to start setting up his offensive game. Yeah, you know, another thing, too, that's really good with Nappa is kind of hitting the character, hitting the point character, and then tagging into Nappa, into the Nappa mix. So maybe we could see something like that. That's but he's just going to stick with the lap code here. Okay, okay. Let's see. Yeah, maybe if he ends up getting the kill on the Gogeta, we'll see that next time. The barrier, all, of course, spinning rims. Oh, long distance on that. So fast. Yeah, he reacted really well to the Vegito assist. That was good stuff. Ooh, that was a cool combo. Yeah. Damn, this is going to kill. Come on. <laughs> no way. He's at the five points on deck. Double yeah, stomp he out. Stomp? Bro, he's going <laughs> to die. A little bit more damage. Are you serious? Oh, my God. The lab call. We can never question Fenrich, baby. Oh we God, we in Vegas. If you're gonna bet on somebody no getting way. the kill, you bet no on Fenrich getting man. the kill. It's too optimal. That's Come how on. we get down. <laughs> Fenrich in Sin City. I said it once. Let me say it again. <laughs> it's too good, man. Oh, big. He reflects there. But yeah, that was a pretty weird reflect by. Oh, right oh. into my waiting arm. <laughs> Sixteen, popping off. You want to get intimate? This is the wrong robot to do that with. Oh, 6 M the God. <laughs> nice and basic there. I like that. That was cool. I mean, I wouldn't expect to be 6 M right there. Yeah, 6 M forever effective. Oh, oh it's just the IAD. You said you have to represent the meaties. That's a perfect yeah. example right there, right? That wasn't a hard mix up to get past, but Fenrich didn't think it was going to be a meaty. No, yeah, yeah. Fenrich is a really interesting player. Like, I feel like he has a lot of, like, the. The general uh, Japanese player tendencies really solid, plays really safe, but then out of nowhere, he just turns into a demon. Out of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Especially on like defense, 10 DPs right? In a row, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like on like, defense, like the <laughs> Japanese players love gambling. They yeah. love throwing it out. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the level three here. But yeah, no, the 16 was putting in work. I feel like if he gets out of this uh, offense situation, he could, he could honestly put some. Uh, yeah. Put some damage on the table. He gets no, all around. Gets the wake up reflect and then Apple says, oh, let's go, yeah. Yes. Such an underrated assist. I don't think a lot of people talk about it. Yeah, he just blows you up so fast. And oh, oh, long way. distance. I like that tackle okay, from now, the three now, point now. line. Five of him, five of him, yes. Yeah, oh, we try oh, to clap no. him up. Oh, unfortunately, we don't get to yeah, see any party uh, right yeah, now. That sucks. But that Cyberman, I think, is still down there because he did put an EX one down. Oh, he's still jumping around, but he's oh, gone now. <laughs> unfortunate. Nappa getting a chance to play, though. We got the 16 assists on deck. Yeah, going to set up shop with it. Oh, he yeah, tried to time the Dragon Rush so between the rocket punches, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think what he did there is he tried to read a reflect. So if he uh, did reflect, because okay. it is a key blast assist, he True. would get that Dragon Rush without the throw invincibility. Makes sense. Close reflect. But, you know, he doesn't reflect, and then the Dragon Rush lives. Yeah, yeah. That, that's 100% why he was betting on. Ah, oh, the command on. grab on the meaty, <laughs> dang. I feel like getting debuffed now is so much more demoralizing. Before it was like, ah, <laughs> oh, man, this is just a part of the regular gameplay. Combo to debuff. When we get debuffed now, you're like, no. Yeah, right? Like, why? Why is my life like this? <laughs> yeah, the pick up with the Gogeta assist. <laughs> and he was so calm, cool and selected with how he got this first hit anyway. Bro, he killed off this. He killed off that 2H. Oh, my God. Oh, hey. my God. Yeah, K.O. Oh. He's <laughs> 
courage, bruh. That's the set? Yeah. Oh, I thought. That's it? Wow. This man really, really hard to catch. Dodon Ray mm -hmm. is such a good beam assist. Yeah. It's, it's, it pops you up in like a really easy way to combo off of. And if you get kind of close, then he has the lap code assist, right? So he's just really moving around, calling the beam, calling the, the lariat assist. Yeah, yeah. It's so smart, man. Like, that's how you have to approach, right? The longer range assist to help you get in, and then once you can get in, you got something to lock them down to get the mix going. That's definitely the fundamental way to approach the neutral. Yeah. Oh, Vinny Pires! Wow, yeah, I, I gotta imagine you wanted a DP spark, but you know, if, this, if the DP whips, yeah, he you can't, can't spark, spark yeah. he's gonna get it. And he reeled back in his chair as well. That yeah. was definitely a message sent. Oh, he actually got it. I not expect that. I'm going to try and lock him down. You see, even the uptake right. chase. Oh, I thought that Dodon Ray was gonna put him in a position to follow up, but it was scrambly. Ooh, oh, nice what a block! block. Damn. And yeah, that's plus on block there, the 3H after the, the 6H there. Good to respect it. Oh. Nice. This is the command grab. That doesn't have a whole lot of recovery. It's actually pretty hard to, to punish that unless you're really looking for it. So great stuff from Kane right there. Able to, to weather the storm early. It was a scary situation with that with DP, but nonetheless, he's maintained control. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the mix going to be. Oh, there's oh he tried to taste the corner. corner. That was the space in the corner, and, and he, you know he smelled that. Yeah, you know he smelled that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like every Dragon Ball player is like, is there a centimeter behind me? Yeah. I know what you're up to. Yeah, exactly. You want to cross me up. Okay. Oh, he took me out of the corner <laughs> for one reason and one reason only. Yeah, it was good on him. Checks him, and that does a lot of damage, too. Yeah, I mean, the spins, the 360 hitbox, maybe it don't matter if you stay <laughs> yeah. in front. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's too oh, much. There's a sparky, but the combo's oh, dropped. Oh, my God. That was... Look, I didn't want to say it, but you know, Kane not not really known for landing land so, combos in the clutch moments. I was talking to Tyrant, and he told me Kane is the most cursed man on the planet. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. He was like, nah. He was like, for real, someone <laughs> put a hex on this dude. I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, of course the the combo drops do uh, are one of the signature woes of 4K, yeah. right? Even despite that, like you said, top eight Evo results. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah, got yeah. incredible <laughs> success, but even uh, due to that. I just feel like it's. When I see it the most, because I've seen Kane play really well, not drop combos. Yeah. It's just in those nervous situations, you know, his, his hands just, I, I get it. Like, it's yeah. hard. It's hard. A hundred percent, man. There's a physicality to what we do, right? Yeah. It's not just all mental. So it's definitely really cool just to see all aspects come into play. But he's trying to stabilize the neutral a little bit more now. He's got the level three with Gotita. Nice. Oh, yeah. my. Yeah. Nice, yeah. I, I gotta imagine that he was looking for, like, the later dash jump on Yeah. There. yeah so, it was a there. And he's still in the game. Still in the game, despite the drop with the, the really <laughs> big TOD drop. Exactly, right? Oh, big, really shoulder. risky reflect. That could have got him 5 m Oh, the clash. He had an option ready to go with afterwards, right? But just kept letting his spin. That's all you need. Good stuff from Equalum. When I grow up, I want to be a giant hitbox. <laughs> <laughs> And when I grow up, I want to be Oh, nice. my God. It covers oh. the whole screen. It's so big. Oh, it's so man. big. And there we oh, are. We're going to finish yeah. this one off. You know what it is. Stardust. Oh. Uh -huh. I love that super. It looks yeah. cool. <laughs> It never gets old. <laughs> now, yeah, that's just the TN, but he's got some meter to work with, TN, baby. man. I've seen this many a time. And do that air Dodon Ray is the really big thing. It's really good versus Key Blast. You know, it... Every time Tien is just kind of jumping back, you have to think about it. You have to be like, okay, if he can do the Dodon Ray, I have to represent jumping and maybe punishing it. Or, you know, he's just going to keep doing it. Oh, and nice. even right there, right? After the first block, normal just pops yeah, off on him. H there, yeah, it's good. Normally the 2H would be punishable, but yeah, the Dodon Ray can make it safe there. Good tag. Yeah, he nice. still yep, doing it again. The air Dodon, big drop, Kane, though. Oh, 2H oh, just pops him. For this too. Don't get too optimal. Don't get too optimal. Yeah, just yeah, do the level one. <laughs> <laughs> he he could have vanished maybe to save some help. Don't, don't, don't make it complicated. Yeah, just stay in this game. I really like the air dodon on Ray too because like it's such a common timing to try to mix up an opponent as they land, right? You want to take advantage. You want to put the pressure on them as they land. And I mean, that's uh, throwing off your timing completely with the Dodon on Ray right before he lands. <gasps> Command grab it there, though. I don't think the debuff's enough, though. I think Tien still does the damage. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> oh, great oh, block. block. What? Oh, the end volleyball fist. That's a frame four. Oh, he drops on the Kane, please. It's OK, though, Kane. He's got a life lead. Oh, He's okay. trying to make Equan come to him. Get a little reckless with it. He's oh. willing to risk his own super dash. He dashed oh, out. I don't no think he expected way. to be on the other side. Goes into the EX really early. That's good to get more damage. But I don't know if it's still enough. 
Oh, he's trying to vanish. milk this for all it's yeah, worth. Yeah, vanish into command grab, into stomp again. It's, I don't know. Oh, Kane, yeah, he, he, yeah, it's done. Uh, I can see Kane, he was already putting his controller behind his head. Know. He knows how much damage this is doing. He, she got the yeah, oh, yeah she got the buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, he would have lived yeah, if it I wasn't forgot, for the buff. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah, sure. Honestly, that was actually what did it. A hundred percent. That twenty-one percent damage buff oh, that she got from landing yeah, that command grab. Yeah, to your special moves. Yeah, all her special moves get that twenty-one damage buff. Yeah. It, it made the difference. Damn. Dude, Kane really is a cursed man. That yeah. was so heartbreaking. Yeah, exactly. He had like four combos and oh. then. Oh man, I really hope that doesn't shake Kane. Yeah, gotta shake it off before I compose himself. Oh. Drop again. Surprising. Oh, no. Oh, but he got the fade away on the landing right there. The long legs of the law. We're gonna set up shop here. Oh, that was very meaty. We got a quick spark up from Iguan. Tired of playing defense, wants to get yeah, back to neutral. Vegeta's so good at wasting out the spark with his double air dash movement. Really hard to catch him. Yep, immediately, right? He's like, all right, I'm good. You gotta come yeah, to me, fam. Yeah, waiting for his assist to come back so he can start shooting them again. That was this is the, the, the quintessential Gogeta neutral, you know. This double air dash is just so hard to catch. Indeed. But finally, Ikuan has caught. Gonna be able to get the knockdown here with the level three. He really wanted to make this catch count as well, right? Spinning the level three, getting the optimal knockdown situation, and they're right back at you with the spark. Nice. And the Dodon Ray. I love that he didn't do anything, right? He let the assist, do the heavy lifting. No reason to risk it doing something wrong with your point character. Dodon Ray is so good at that really good block there. He could have gone for the low fall off of it. And it's really hard to see with the Dodon Ray mm -hmm. uh, explosion on the block stun. Nice. And I'm happy that uh, Kane sparked there. I, I think it's probably the, a good strategy to yes, keep I your agree. team together. I think going for that comeback, you know, it's it's tempting, but it, it's less stable. It's yeah. less stable for sure. Oh. Nice fade on and I'm 100% with you on the stability, right? Like, yeah. it, with, with the way Kane kind of looked after that first game, you just need to stabilize. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just, like, put all your chips in one basket on a comeback. I like him going for the neutral control. Oh, oh you God. ain't going nowhere. It's not your turn to play. Android 21 Lab Code Edition. Closing the distance from the assist was one of the best special moves to ever exist. Yeah, man, goes through key blasts. <laughs> does it all, does it taxes. Yeah. <laughs> That forward advancing hitbox, baby. Oh, Ooh. gets to the other side. And just at the last moment, the eight inch heels, I'll tell you, the stilettos reached from a three point land. That was kind of a cool setup, too. He made the first part of jump M with there. A little tricky. Oh, yeah. Man. I'm happy. I'm happy the drops aren't getting to Kane, though. He's still in the game. Yeah. You know, he's been in this situation before. As much as I hate to admit it, you know, he's dropped a lot of combos before yeah. and still won. Yeah, so, you know, this is nothing new to Kane, you know? I was going to say, not to sound mean, but he's used to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, he's yeah. had to be in these <laughs> World Tour final situations yeah. and, and weathering this storm mentally. So, great stuff. In this game, too, he is a completely dominating. Nice, yeah, and he's going to build a third bar here. That should be enough. Oh, yeah, more than enough here with the 1-1-1. One, one, one. Definitely getting some water already. Let it loose. Shout out to The Rock. Good stuff here. And yeah, Kane, you know, he's still still staying in the game. And I felt like he was playing the neutral really well, even in the first game. Honestly, the first game was his. I feel like that was his game to lose. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think he just realized, you know, I'm playing, I'm playing well, I'm playing a really strong neutral. I don't need to change up my game plan. I just gotta keep it, just gotta keep it safe, keep it stable. It's good. Like, the, the most important thing after that game one was him not to spiral down, right? Yeah. Not to yeah. get down on himself, not to crack mentally. That's what he wanted. So Definitely great stuff, just playing his game in the uh, follow-up and tying up the set. Yeah. And sure. again, we've already gone over every W counts. Whether you win or lose the set, you need to yeah, get as many Ws as, as many, possible. Yeah, yeah. So this all is already a slight dub for both players, just not getting too old. But of course, the all-important match is coming up right now. I feel like in general, Kane has been playing a very, very lame game. You know, he's been kind of playing from far away, but plays kind of goes for a match star gamble there, and it doesn't doesn't work out. Barrier plus assist, it's it's tough to beat. It kind of just goes through everything. <laughs> exactly. Not many answers to be had, honestly. Yeah, that was a good delay up tech there. You know, really messed with the the meaty five on setup. Two H, nice, good stuff. Ooh, great awareness, great yeah. recognition from Kane right there to know that he can still land in time to get the two H out. Yeah, the lap put of his own in. Oh, God. Ooh. It was just so visually hard to see yeah, at that yeah. point. That Dodon Ray, it just obscures your vision. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even think he thought it was close enough, but, you know, 
LabCorp's 5L, the standing low goes so far. Yeah. One of the few characters that gives you like a mid-screen 50-50 off of like a super dash. Just how far that low attack goes. Legit wild. And it started off of the special move to the spin, right? Where she yeah. started on one side and ended up on the other. <laughs> yeah. like, it was just so visually oh, tricky. Man. I'm just imagining Equan's hand. Just yeah. Going yeah. <laughs> Definitely some wrist-breaking moments. Yeah, yeah. Gets the Kepler in here. Boy. I want to see Kepler put in a little bit more work, but... It, that was a funky rhythm, right? Yeah. I saw the ideas. It was just like the way it ended up playing out as soon as Kefla got on the screen. It threw off his timing. Yeah. So that was definitely unfortunate. Oh, tried to get the empty low. Good block, but Dragon he could only run. block for so long. And yeah, you know, I got to say, game, a really important matchup in, in this finals and just in this meta in general is the lap code mirror. Yes. And he's been winning the lap code mirror. He's been doing a really good job of it. Okay. You know, getting past the air key blasts and just using the spin at the right times. I think that's really what's making the difference in this set. And it's such, I think it's because he's such a movement-based player, right? Yeah. With the Gogeta and everything. It's just like when it comes to having the same tool set as another player, like his movement really stands above the rest. Yeah, for sure. Nice, yeah. Nice, yeah. He went for the overhead last time there in that situation. That was good. They mix up the low. The good blocks and wow, tried the barrier yeah. afterwards. He didn't, he didn't want to mess with it. You know, he could have yeah. called the, the Gogeta Blue uh, DP assist there. He's just playing a safe, stable game, and I like that. That's what you want, that's what you want in this in situation. And Kane didn't have any assists available himself at that time either, yeah. right? So it's not like he was going to, like, that would have been the safe route to kind of pursue that, was to call an assist and let your point character chill, but instead just chills out because no assists were available. And right now, he's doing a great job just kind of blaming it out, making uh, Ikawan come to him. He's got the life advantage. So there's no need, as you mentioned, with Gogeta's a movement, like there's no reason to kind of approach, make them come to you. Another really scary thing too, as a Gogeta blue player, ooh, gets the spin. Man. But yeah, like I was saying, the thing with Gogeta blue is you don't want to be stuck solo with them. Where he really shines is when he has assists and stuff to kind of lock them down, help him with the neutral. But you know, if he loses the lab coat here, it's gonna be really difficult, but he gets the hit. Indeed, the lab coat. Setting up shot for the Gogeta Blue to come in, Let's finish him off. Did have to yep. use that extra bar, but well worth. Yeah, definitely worth it. This is good. He still has access to the lab code assist, so he can still do the mix ups. Yeah. He can do the 2 H, call the lab code assist, go for the 50 50. Like even using it as an approach here. Nice. Oh, oh no, that was a 2 M star. That's supposed yeah. to be big damage. Dude, you know what? I, I gotta imagine he thought that 5 L was gonna clash. Mm. A really common thing after the 6 M is the 5 L's clashing. Yeah. And then you clash, cancel into a reflect. But it traded there. It really depends on the, the 5 L's hurt box uh, for whether the trade happens or not. He just wasn't prepared for it. Yeah, it's a very common, right? I think we see more clashes in that sequence than we don't. So because of that, yeah, it really felt like just one of those situations yeah, where you yeah, expect that, something and it doesn't happen. Yeah, dude, that might just be the game off of that yeah, simple interaction. For sure. Yeah. Kane is doing a great job right here. He's got sparking available, still two characters. One more hit is uh, definitely dead. And there yeah, it is, the good. double overhead. Kane. Head. So many overheads. Good stuff. Well done. Taking it 2-1 over Eagle on right there. What a way to bounce back from that first game L, right? He definitely looked a little shook after, but yeah, yeah that, that man, he's a renaissance man for sure. He yeah. just threw his phone on accident. That's why he's chuckling, but it's all good. Oh, it's game time for Jake. Let's see. Fenrich on the other side. Jake Ryan trying to put a dub on the board. Fenrich, of course, looking to establish himself at the top of the group. Oh, yeah, and, and and you know another player like Fenrich, you know he's he's down to play crazy, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, he, he, I don't. I think he's another player that wouldn't be totally rattled up by it, but he's probably not familiar with the way Jake plays. You know, he's never. I don't know if he's ever played against Jake Ryan before. Yeah, and look at Jake right there. Oh, oh, okay. He ended up dropping the combo, but as you mentioned, right, Fenrich is one of those where like he's down to get wild with the Abare. Like yeah. he'll down tech buttons. That's exactly what happened there. He just ended up getting beaten to the punch. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. And he meanies there, too. And that's like a scramble situation. Jake in the scrambles, he's familiar. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Both of Those these players are just <laughs> slugging it out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's stand face to face and swing. Oh, man. That start EX spin versus 5M. I've seen this interaction before many a time. <laughs> <laughs> and then the 6M, the overhead, as good as the day it was born. Yeah. Still so potent in this game. Gonna be able to kill off the lab call. This is a great bounce back from Fenrich. Yeah, yeah. I'm really curious how the spark is gonna be used on both sides. I'm, I'm not really sure. I've gotta imagine it'll be the level two spark, but who knows? Who knows? It's, it's hard to say. I feel, I felt like in this type of a matchup, the two double team esports, you want to keep the team together. You know? I agree. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, that was like a, the tippy top of the hitbox. 
That was the corner edge just inside the range. Oh, man. We'll see if he does the DP spark here. Okay, just does the raw spark. I like that. Nice. Yeah, that's a classic. Vanish cancel into the call assist. That was so good. Yeah, the Banshee Blast. We talked about how potent of an assist that is. Drop the level three on him. Now, it's your turn to spark or not, Fenrich. Oh, he does it indeed in the double air dash. What is that? I mean, yeah, Jake will take that. Okay. Yeah, 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 right. You would just expect Fenrich to, yeah, spark up, keep both characters alive, especially with that lab coat being the one on point. But he's going to bet it all on limit break sparking Vegito. Vegito, yeah, which is scary. But Jake is up right now, yeah. I feel like. He's up right now in this match. 100%, right? He's almost got two oh, characters. Yeah, super dash out of the Vegito says they're just playing really risky. Oh, but the down tick. Because you mean when he landed, he just got clipped by the edge of the 5L. My God, Vegito's damage output, yeah. bruh. It's probably just level three, level one. Ridiculous here, yeah. Dropped the four bars on him. One more for the kill. Oh, no. And Jake was winning, but now just a barely life advantage. The meter is in his favor, but the sparking towards Fenrich. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Vegito they both pulled out. No. Oh, he yeah, blocked the spark. That's plus on block. Yeah, he blocked it in the air, right? That's been the way it's been since the launch. The air block adds block stun to your ability. So yeah. because of that, the sparking yeah, where if he blocked on the ground, it would be his turn to press buttons, but nah. I gotta block the mix. Oh, yeah, the cross up. Mitch yeah. brings it back. But Jake was playing well. Jake was right playing well, dude. He was making Fenrich take some really risky choices. Yes, yeah. I think Jake has to understand that he's he's making a play. He should not feel bad about yeah, that absolutely. game at all. A hundred percent, he should not feel bad. He really pushed him towards the edge. Of course, Fenrich made some clutch reads, some clutch decisions with yeah. the Vegito, but that was the only character he had left. And Jake's team can output that damage too. So I mean, he was a touch or two away from taking that W over Fenrich. Yeah. yeah. Jake shaking his head. He knows he's still in this game. He knows he's got it. He's been watching a lot of the VODs, I know. Mm -hmm. oh, what? God. No way! <laughs> Reach for the Sky Boy indeed. <laughs> RIP J. Briscoe. Oh, man. We'll see if he does the early spark. Okay, fights out here. It's scary versus Gogeta, man. I, I really feel like he's always doing enough damage to two-touch you in ways you wouldn't expect. So I feel like he always gets people. Ah, yeah. Hits the super dash. That's one of Fenrich's biggest strengths. He will anti-air you. Yeah. He is an anti-airing man. <laughs> Yeah, and that's so like Jake getting a little frustrated with the scrambles, wanting to get back into his opponent's face, and Fenrich is just so experienced, so collected. The two H's are always on deck. Uh, his reactions when it comes to answers are just unmatched in Dragon Ball. It's so important in the game where jumping is so strong. It's just, <laughs> yeah. The air options. <laughs> exactly right. Strengths as a player. So much of this neutral is played in the sky. Yeah. Yeah, it's all Fenrich. And yeah, I, I don't know. It's hard to say, right? You, he got out of the mix-up and he didn't spark there, and then you got hit in neutral afterwards. Like, was it was it good that I didn't spark there? It's like a hard, it's a hard choice. It's a it hard decision is. to feel like you was, was right or wrong. So setting up shop again here. Jake needs a big defensive gambit now. Oh, oh but that no, is the not the gambit spark. that's gonna pay off. Perfect spark bait from Fenrich. The five H to start it off. It's gonna be a lot of damage, and with the supers, it should go through the region. I believe we'll see. Yeah, if you do the supers as fast as possible here, yeah. Yeah, and he does. Not so. enough time for it to be then, and he's dead, yeah. Damn. Indeed, Fenrich, I mean, he is a legend of Dragon Ball Fighters, right? Exactly on oh. display there. They clash, <laughs> but he has the assist <laughs> advantage. You don't got no boys got in the back, Let me raise you 5M plus assist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Precisely. Oh, oh kind of reflect reflects. there, yeah. But he cross up his input. Look at my shit. Okay. You know how Fenrich gets okay. down, baby. Spark up. Let me get all the meter. Let me get all the combos possible. Please don't die off this. No way. What do you mean? It's Fenrich. He's dead. What? He's dead. It's what? Fenrich. Why are you even questioning oh my this, God. baby? Level hey, three man. afterwards. Like we said, when we be in Vegas, you got to know when and where to gamble beneath. And you always bet on Fenrich yeah. killing. Yeah. 2-0 right there. Station, station there. He's so optimal. The most optimal Dragon Ball team. The bald boys. Yeah, dude, I hope I get to see some more nap action. This yeah, Because he yeah. had that five of them set up going. I don't see if he can do it in this game. Already both this yeah. spin from Kane. This is an opportunity here. Yeah, you got to go in right now while he's just solo. Oh, it didn't actually turn around, unfortunate. 
Something the, too about the French players is they're really used to like a lot of different characters too. I yeah. I think if there's one scene that won't be tripped up by character unfamiliarity, it's definitely the French players. You know, playing players like Wawa who play so many teams, yeah. they also play so many teams. Yeah, I was gonna say they as a region really pushed the meta forward. They yeah. were developing the and pioneering a lot of what the game shaped to be. Yeah. Honestly, everyone plays fusions now because of them. I'm yeah, be real. Straight up. <laughs> so because of that, I mean that was them exploring the whole castle, yeah. right? And yeah, they yeah. came to those conclusions after playing everybody mm -hmm. so it's really cool to see that region and how they really led the forefront of Dragon Ball Fighters in the meta but right now we'll see if Kane can uh, put down Estelex he's got the level three on deck with the mix on B just tried with the six eight Ooh, you couldn't even see that yeah it was invisible behind the Nathlesses and yeah probably used to the oh resets him with the six on there and it was that weird timing on that uh android 16 assist that just kind of threw off Kane, not really sure when to gambit defensively yeah SLX like, seems to be really used to pressuring with uh with the key blast so that's like a really big thing playing around the roof like i guess he i thought i thought it was gonna kill but i guess it wasn't enough yeah, apparently not gonna save the meter for now nice, yeah Got the situation. Ooh, the wrong tag. Nap Nap okay. Yeah, we'll see you call for it, right? You're like, he needs some assist to get himself enabled, such a side yeah. of the game. And and that and that Android 16A is or B is gonna be exactly what he needs. I think that's gonna really help Nappa get in there. Man, they really it's such an active assist. Ooh, that was sick. Did you see that sequence? He called the Cyberman with the lap code assist to cover it. And that Cyberman's going ham down there. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, Man. actually dropped his combo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the scramble not paying off in the no. dodo ray. You mentioned how it pops you up so long to follow up. Oh my god, that's how it was a double agent. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> What's you know about some double agents, huh? <laughs> oh, here we go. Nice job yeah. checking the assist right there. And then Nappa 5 out. it looks like a mid, but it, it's a low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, uh, he's got he's got his assist available. He might do a reset. Makes him, I think a reset's coming. Oh! Nice. And you mentioned, right, he's so hyper aware yeah. of the reflect that he yeah. wants to kill that option off. And right there, perfect Dragon Rush yeah. to bait him. Wow. Playing a little nap for myself, I've realized people are so terrified of the restand. Oh. I, I get it, you know, trying to reflect the first mix up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, it's still got the high low. And it leads, it always two touches. It'll always, always kill you that mix up. Yeah, it's oh. Oh, coming through high and heavy. Brings in the lab coat though. Oh, the reflect actually worked. I thought it was yeah, gonna be too early. The button really late. It still reflected it though. It's still in the reflect frames. Just barely, man. It had to be like the last active frame. Ooh, that was sick. Okay. A little pick up right here. That's that awesome. like first the character for S to left. Nice, nice. Yeah. This is what I'm saying, man. Don't sleep on this select. Mm -hmm. Don't sleep on the Nappa. These characters are, are, are scary, and especially if you're not used to them. Yeah, and with the amount of health he has right now, too, like, you can get command grabbed out the air by Android 16, yeah, and you're just going to die. Like, it's a little far from the corner here. I don't think the setup is going to be quite as good. But, you know, he's definitely going to still get a meaty here. Yeah. You know what? I, I feel like he kind of messed up there. I think he messed up the safe jump. I think the reflect would have worked, but it kind of worked out for him. I got I to gotta say. It's one of those situations, right? You're like, oh, well, I was going for something. You knew what I was take going it. for, but I didn't actually do the thing I wanted to do. Right. <laughs> we'll take so, it. Yeah. We'll take it. Definitely big advantage right there from Kane. Yeah, still got the Nappa in the back. That Nappa ace is really good neutral. Oh, nice. scheming on him coming to the skies he right there. Come off of nice, nice, nice. I think he didn't get enough to kill maybe. He's oh, he went here. Yeah, he was going for the optimal yeah. combo. Level three reversal attempt. He really wanted that Gogeta off the battlefield. Oh no, now it's all Nappa by himself, and that's what you want to avoid as a Nappa player playing him solo. Man, that's unfortunate. I like the gamble because the level three would have killed him off. Yeah. You know, a yeah. lot of the times people gamble with the level three and then you get the blue life back. He didn't have sparking, but either way, Nappa going to stop whatever Gogeta wants to do there. The opposite ends of the spectrum of power level, but yeah. Nappa, yeah, Nappa is here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nappa doing his thing for sure. Oh, ball boys. Oh, man. Shout out to Damascus. Do it for Damascus, baby. Yeah. Oh, no, Nappa, come on. Oh, but he got a Cyberman out. That's huge. He's got a another ball boy. That's two ball boys versus one. I see. I had. Oh, it does the overhead. Hit him yes. right. Gave him a noogie. Nappa. Hit him this right in the Nappa, shiny baby. spot. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the watch of a college boys. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>
I love that one quote. <laughs> yeah, great stuff from Estelix right there. I mean, you talked about it, right? He looked a little shaky in his first match, but he plays such a strained team, such a foreign yeah. style that he can catch even the best players off guard. And Kane, one of the favorites of this pool, he goes down in the first match. Yeah, yeah. And Estelix, he was playing really risky on defense. And, but and I thought it was going to, yeah, you know, he does a reflect just right there again. I thought it was kind of going to bite him in the butt in the last game, but it kind of, he, he was able to clutch it out at yeah. the end. You well, can take a lot of risk catches onto that. when you're as right as he was, right? Yeah. You know, and then it actually pays off. It's just being right that often is extremely hard. And he still hasn't stopped reflecting. He got punished for reflect, does it again. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, definitely. I like him not kind of switching it up. Oh, oh, oh. The croc. Oh, man. Oh, but he gets the punish, though. He couldn't quite These confirms him. are difficult, man. Nappa doesn't really have a conventional jump 2H to get a, a regular jump confirmed. So, you know, you have to do kind of a weird combo or a vanish combo, usually. Yeah, vanish, we keep in that corner. Oh, beautiful assist call, but oh, wow. Gogeta closing the distance. That was scrambling. It looked like SLX was really going to be able to maintain the corner control. But somehow, someway, Kane switching yeah, up the game, game plan. Level three as well. Far for that barely, barely on the stomp. How we get out with Napa? Is it gonna be reflect again for the third time? Okay, he jumps there, and I'm surprised Kane's still needed, honestly. Yeah, right. I mean, the spin is just spin so man. active. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Such a great hitbox. Oh, you can never man. escape. Oh man! Just as I say that, though, actually goes flying past it with his own yeah. man grab attempt. Oh, actually counter hits him out of a out of a five L there. He was actually trying to take his turn back. And reflects again, yeah. Yeah, he's willing to keep betting on it. Oh, doesn't turn around. Just jumps out and that's, punishes that's the command hard. grab. That's the first command grab he went for. It. Yeah. And he jumps it. That's that's hard. <laughs> that is definitely a rough L to hold. Let it loose. Like yes. this game, but you know, but the anchor lab coat. You know, she, I think the big thing with lab coat as an anchor, outside of her just doing good damage and having good solo mix-ups, is if she lands a deep up on you. That, that's that's big. You're doing limit break damage. They're doing way less. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's like okay, everything that I uh, thought I could possibly do. Oh, it's oh, just gonna take frame. twice as long. Oh man, that comes. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, hard. it's, it's okay. a little hard. It's a little hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't just a Kane's and Kane mode. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, it wasn't a K drop call. I dropped that call, but it's okay. <laughs> Red Gogeta coming in after, of course, the huge chunk of damage that level yeah, one CN does. Good stuff from Kane. Not, not too shaken up by, by the weird, weird team strategy from s likes with the Nappa in the 16. And that's what we saw against Equan as well, right? Dropped the first game, yeah. maintained his composure, won the next two. Let's see if he can continue that trend. Nice, I like that. Playing patient, seeding his assist, making him... Oh, oh that's he's gonna start off this little bit of weird hit. I like that he's just keeping it safe. Maybe, yeah, he's gonna snap take the blue there. life on the 16. Ooh, he actually tried to medium after that. Yeah, it was tough, right? He knew he was gonna come in hot. He wasn't gonna delay the incoming because of how far away he was. So he tried to close the distance as quick as he could. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, still plus there. Try to take his turn back. Vanish is plus on block there. And yeah, I mean, at the snap, that, that happy birthday is big. The amount of damage it did to 16. Let wow. Him, let him get a, a two touch, basically. He built the second bar at the last oh, hit. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. We talked about Fenrich's optimal status. Kane right there with the combos. Yeah, Ridiculous. he's landing combos, yeah. Kane, a clone combos. Yeah. <laughs> not the thing today. Not, not the game. Nice, yeah. And he has the. He's working on it perfectly, honestly. Oh, you're right. Man, hasn't taken a scratch. See right now, and I love this. Kane has a consistently did this as well. As soon as he gets a lead, he makes you come to him. Oh, scoops are up. Yeah. Stomps are out. It's going to be one more character down once again. Getting out of the meter penalty here, and the jump S is. Yeah, and he built the bar again. He barely built it again. Are you kidding me? That's, That's rough, good. bro. That's rough. He's just down to solo Nappa. Solo Nappa, it's so hard to get the game going with them. Oh, man, he's got Gogeta back in as well. Like, Nappa chasing <laughs> down Gogeta is not a fun thing. Wow, I love that. Yeah. Usually you see the bud into the assist, right? But if you catch air, the Dodon rate, it's actually too low to get that hit, right? Yeah, so he had, he had the follow-up exactly, ready anyway. Yeah, he had a full match start sequence plan there. Oh, do the, yeah. Oh, he didn't do the hold. I thought he would do the hold. Oh, if you actually yeah. hold Nappa's level three, you can actually combo after it, but he just does the raw level three. Indeed, it. oh my goodness, Kane, not even showing any fear, not trying to get Gogeta oh, out, not Nappa trying to spark up, but the clap was there. Right. Wrong thing to catch. 
Hold on. Hold on a minute. Oh, yeah? You got the bleed? <laughs> Wait, you know. One I'm... character clapped up. Look, man, when Nafa hits you, he is the scariest character in the game. Oh. Does get clipped by the beam. Yeah, it gets the beam hit, though. It's it's just so hard to get in on the key blast character. Nafa has the 5S that has a little bit of key blast armor at the beginning. Oh, my God. But... Is he going to kill him? Nah, it's not okay, enough. Okay, nah, nah. Oh. Okay, guys. That's kind of natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, messes up there. I think he tried to do a, a, an instant air dash there. Kind of messed it up. You gotta have a whole lot of magic in this pixel nice. fam, and unfortunately yeah. does not. Yeah. Tried to bet on something like a stagger pressure sequence right there, but instead Kane just sticking to his guns. Very well done. Gets the cross medium low, and again bounces back from a first yeah. game L to win the set. Great, yeah. great for Group C action. All the technical issues have been solved. We got Fenridge versus Egoon. Again, two players in great spots in this group already. This could be a huge match on who decides them to make it out. Yeah, strongest players of the Japanese region. And, you know, Fenrich. Fenrich has been a household name for as long as possible. You know, we've been, we've been talking about all these new faces that have been putting in work, but you, you got to you gotta give it yeah. to the old guard. The, I was going to say the he's old guard. He's here yeah. forever. Every season. He's always showing up. He's so good. So, yeah, yeah, I love it, man. Let's see what, how this match goes. You know, changing with the times as well. All right, go on versus Fenrich. Of course, Fenrich off to an early start here. Yeah, like I said, they have pretty similar teams. The difference is the assist. Uh, instead, each one has the the Kepler, the Kepler A assist versus the, the the traditional Vegito A assist that most people use. And I think an interesting thing with Kepler is more how her point game is gonna work versus uh, versus the Vegito assist. Oh. That's where he really has experience. Nice dark cancel the 50 50 there. The familiar. Oh wow! Actually, kisses the landing frames right there. That was so good. You can tell both these players are extremely familiar with each other. Like, yeah. we saw the reversal 5k into an immediate reflect to catch the assist call. Like, yeah, they, that's, they already showed that they know each other like the back of their hand. For sure, for sure. Yeah, and it was really good guard cancel on the 2H, too. So the 2H has that, that extra recovery. So you can't even, like, DP to, like, punish the, the guard cancel there. So he knows about those guaranteed guard cancel signings. That's really good stuff. He backdashed at the perfect time on the spin. Like, he just made it with because of that. Yeah, that's plus there. And, yeah, dude, he uses the that that 2 and 4 S, I believe, which is, like, that teleport dash to get yeah. out of the corner. It's frame forward, invincible. You know, it's going to get you out of those type situations. Very smart, man, using that as a defensive option. Something that the opponent has to keep in mind. Lab code here. This is a great start for Ikuan. Really, Fenrich hasn't gotten a lick of damage. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, you know, there's a space behind someone in the corner. He got two, oh, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, he dead. picked up two. Oh, and the assist is dead, bro. This is a Fenrich after all. We yeah. talked about it. You bet on somebody killing, you bet on Fenrich killing. Dude, what is it about Fenrich that like, gets all these happy birthdays in the first place? They just, they just land in his hands. Bro, yeah, like, oh. that one literally did too, yeah. bro. Like, it was so strange <laughs> the way that happy birthday came about. Oh, my God. He's all, And he's always ready for it. He has the best happy birthday combo available. Man, and yeah, and he tried to spark, trying to kind of get some momentum back here. Oh, that just took it out of range, but still fights the hit anyway. Equan not going quietly into the night. Yeah, that last foot 5 though, so far it was not prepared to reach from there. A little stab, send him down. Yes, with the Kepla back up. Now, oh, somehow, some way, Iguan tying up the set. Uh, even with the happy birthday, though, he's still in the game, and it's the Kepla that I really want to see put in the work. I think, I think with Ikuan, that's definitely like his his hallmark character now. Before he used to be like a hit player in season two, and since switching to this Kepler team, he's been putting in so much work, getting so many wins. Man, look at this right here. He should be able to kill off this. Yeah, quick little float game real quick. Just admire the last yeah. hole, bro. Admire, <laughs> admire the coat floating in the wind. <laughs> I think it built him like a little bit of meter too. <laughs> Optimal forever. Yeah. Oh. Nice, walks the same side. They're so familiar yeah. with each other's play. It was pretty sick too because it looked like Iguan was walking back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, he right. decided last second, like, oh, it's Fenrich. Yeah. He's gonna same side toward me here. That yeah. was really good stuff. That was really wild. Like, because even like when you block that same side, like Vegito's is pretty close to you. Like that was oh, and a call out on the reflect attempt. My man's Iguan new right there. This is a big upset, man. If Ikuan gets this game, I, I feel like it could... throws the whole pool into disarray for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Oh, oh boy, what a way.
to start the set. Eagle on. The stick issues have been solved, and now you gotta deal with the issues I'm gonna give you in game. In game up on Fenris. Don't sleep on this guy, man. You know, in the in the last World Tour Finals, he was able to take it over Walla. Nobody, nobody predicted that. Yeah. And for him to take it over Fenrir, possibly. Again, not one that many would predict for sure. Yeah. Oh man, he's stressing out. Yeah, he's got his hands on his head. But Equan, you need one more game. You need to close it out. Fenrich is a clutch master. You can't. Yeah. Not not there yet. But, ooh. Oh, the barrier though. Already doing a good job. He's really ready for uh, the aggressiveness from Fenrich, right? He seems to be playing around it so well. Yeah. Oh, just not yeah. say that though. The assist call doing all the work. Got caught slipping a little bit. I thought he was honestly going to avoid it with the way he backed up. Yeah, though that last foot A, you know, it goes through key blast. Mm -hmm. Nice reflect there. That was good stuff. Really good awareness, but gets with punished. And the slide. I don't know if he expected, like, a dash block to come out from Fenrich, and he thought he would be a little bit closer, or just that it would actually reach. Yeah, that's going to be a kill for Fenrich here. Fenrich, you know, not taken up by the first game at all. He's still in the game. Goodness gracious, that sword super does so much. Yeah. Now we got the Kefla in. Hopefully we can see her. Whoa. Oh my goodness, the Google Maps. Which way do I go? Oh, that way, I got you. <laughs> the tracking is insane. And yeah, so Kefla's like one of the best characters that has that up projectile into the super dash. Mm -hmm. You know, if the opponent is in the air even like a little bit and they dodge the fireball, the super dash is gonna reach you. Oh, and he gets the DR. Yo, right. those are some of the hardest DRs to tech, bro. When like, the player has kind of come to the conclusion, but it's like three steps down the line, yeah. right? Like it was like, it's an air dash, it whiffed, he back dash, and then he forward dash dragon rush. Like yeah. all of that happened without him thinking about oh it. Like he God. was he just, just already doing it. Just just holding back. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like oh. that was such a good read on the down tech there too. He knew he couldn't get the combo off of that jump end, but he was ready for the tech situation. Oh, this is so slick right now from Fenridge getting to the other side. Again, he's playing at a speed and a pace now too, where it's like he's processing so quickly. Like there's not moments of hesitation. Like he knows what he already wants to do and he's executing it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But you know, Equan still has the sparking blast available. Let's see if he tries to bait it, and he does. Oh, Once again, they're really familiar easy. with each other's play. They played against each other a lot in Japan before. Kefla is here. Nice. Good Blocks block. the 50 /50 and reflects the. Oh my God, Fenrich. Yeah, right. <laughs> he sold it, <laughs> and that's one of the things about Fenrich, right? We'll see him block early, but what he wants to do is he wants to make those defensive choices where he gets to stop blocking, where he gets yeah. to be on offense. That's why he comes out. He risks the reflex. He risks the DPS. Oh, yeah, for sure. But that was a big drop by Fenrich. That combo would have yeah. killed him, but now the Gogeta's still alive. And we've seen, oh, oh my god, yeah, yeah. If he, if he kept letting the jump best rock, that was gonna punish him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he was kind of damned if he did, damned if he didn't. Yeah, definitely, just that situation he found himself oh in. Oh, tried to get frisky with the Kefla, but Lab Coat there to put a stop to all nonsense. These are some really big players. They, they really are familiar with each other. That was, they both just pulled up. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> okay. Nah, nah, I gotta, like gotta that. you real quick. The close quarters combat. But one thing I've noticed throughout the entire LCQ, ah, there's the cross up. And we saw the counter come out, right? It might have been, a, I didn't see what it actually started up with, but it might have been a key blast or yeah, because of the reflect, kind of reflect right? yeah, yeah, across for the month. Exactly. But yeah, like we said, you know, you leave even a pixel, even a centimeter behind somebody and they're a Dragon Ball player. They want to cross it. That's yeah, what they yeah. want to do. That's their favorite thing to do. You're like, oh, I can yeah. cross up? Yeah, yeah. like, oh, <laughs> you're not all the way in the corner. Yeah. Today. Well, then, I'll take that for myself. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, throughout uh, Equan's LCQ run, a big thing has just been how clutch he is. He's had so many nail biter matches, uh -huh. but he's able to clutch it out with either either the the, the lab coat or the the Kefla, especially the Kefla. So I, I was I was I was hoping to see something like that there, but you know, Fenrich is able to still close out the match. Yeah, Fenrich, I mean, he's so stable, right? Like he's like a momentum killer. Like you could have all kinds of momentum and aura and all this, and Fenrich just doesn't care, bro. Yeah. He almost got a rejump combo off of that, that, that straight jump M confirmed. But damn, really good defense. I mean, you gotta know, know, right? Yeah, if you gotta know after the Dragon Rush check right there, going what up against Lab Coat, like, you're gonna get span on, bro. Yeah. Oh, no! He just walked into he just the walk of shame, and then the reset, oh it still god. results in a kill for Iguan. Oh my god, Fedric, I think, looked at his hands for a second there. He was surprised. Yeah, a rare, rare you see Fenrich. Out of control. 
Yeah, he didn't. Oh my oh. god, that was insane. He pushed him out of the Gogeta says all the boxes didn't hit. So he didn't think he was still boxing any debuffs, and that was insane. I was gonna say, debuffing the Vegito is huge, bro. Like, this character outputs so much damage that just handicapping him a little bit yeah. is actually significant. Yeah, that still did a lot of damage. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so you can imagine how yeah. much damage it would do if he Must didn't get debuffed. debuffed. <laughs> like, it would be wild, bro. He'd be at like 20, 30% right now. Yeah. Oh, and it doesn't matter. Even with the debuff, still gonna get two touched. Oh Was God, too frisky God. on the wake up. I'm at apology, man. Can't even believe he decided to try to do something. Oh my God, dude, I, I'm just so surprised they didn't use those sparkings earlier. They're both playing so risky on defense. That's right, I forgot. You mentioned that earlier, right? Like, yeah. you're not seeing a lot of early sparks from Fenrich at all. Man, they're, they're swinging. <laughs> they're slugging it out. But yeah, when we got the Kefla here, that was insane. That was so, he was so low to the ground, but that anti-air still reached him. Oh, debuff. Mm -hmm. Debuff in the Kefla now. You want to debuff me? I'm going to debuff you. Oh, nice job. Just going, uh, sailing over the key blast attempts. Yeah, you know, when you get that debuff, it buffs your own special moves by 21% as well. It's doing a little bit more damage than it would have done before. And that might even be leaving a little small gap in the corner. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it did. Oh! oh the Kamehameha grab. Oh, no spark still. Still no sparking blast, but you know what? If he does get the kill on lap court here, Vegito is in the back. Debuff with that cross him up. Come on. It's the he thought he was oh, safe. Oh, he get debuffed. Bruh. Everyone's debuffed. This is so <laughs> tough now. Oh, I love that. The cancel afterwards to escape the corner. He finally sparks, but it might be too little too late. Oh, and then Fenrir is going to spark oh, himself. Oh, he didn't combo with no, all. And the two yeah. ways. Don't you dare try to IAD pressure on me. He gets the optimal combo here. That's good stuff by Fenrich, but he gets Fenrich actually dropped the combo. Ooh. Oh my I really God. don't really see after image used like that as much anymore. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess the punish and Fenrich holds holds solid, you know, doesn't get shaken up by all the crazy things that happened in that yeah. game. The resource management was so weird in that game, but it's still cool. Man, he's such a strong player. And like, I think something I talked about him with is of the players like in his pool, you know, he told me he was confident versus us, so like he's confident versus Kane. Okay, okay. Yeah, I remember he, I, he said like, I think his play style could really throw Kane off of what he's comfortable with. So yeah, we're getting right into it. Let's see if that's how it plays out, shall we? We got Kane, Kane on the left. Mirror. Oh yeah, indeed, and Jake Ryder right there, the two well, the Amari was there. I mean, Kane even hopped up in his seat a little bit. He was like, oh, that's the type of game we're playing, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, he loves that option. Ooh, almost got happy birthday, but, you know, could have been worse. We'll, we'll take this one small combo here. Yeah, that's the end. That's a little weird. Okay. Oh, and Jake, I don't know what happened. We didn't even see counter hit it. Must have right. maybe been betting on an up or a dash OS gone awry. Yeah, nice. Good spark here. Don't want to let the match get out of your hands. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is good for Jake. Like, he's building some meter. He's making use of that sparking time. He's going to pop the level three. Match is getting a little scrambly. I'm still really surprised that he brought in TN there off of that hit. But, uh, oh, definitely a miss input there. What's yeah. the 5 H on the level three? Definitely. Uh, it looked like Jake was actually supposed to set up some type of sparking day, but as you say, the execution error was there. Still finds the hit regardless here. He goes into a level three again. No, oh, it that wasn't really enough to kill with all three level ones. Just takes the OP there. Really good stuff by Jake. Let's see. Will we go for the overhead? Oh, he just waited for oh, something right there. That. He was in the LL part of his string. He just wasn't ready for it. That was an insane confirm. Oh my god. TN Master. <laughs> Three <laughs> conversions. <laughs> Extensions right here from Kane. Let one go into the level three now from Lab Coach. And there is no sparking to escape this one. You gotta rest on your laurels, rest on your defense. Oh, and the five can you get it? No counter hit once again on the screen. Yeah, I think he was just holding up there. Yeah, Honestly. might have just been looking to take to the skies. Yeah, yeah, maybe he was maybe expecting him to bait reflect in some weird way or something. Yeah. But he was definitely expecting him to respect his wake up. He just went for the regular media there and hit some. Oh, hey Jake, I love how disrespectful he gets with the Gogeta, right? Oh, yeah. You see him using the ton in the middle of the block tree. It's just so hard to react. It's so quick, and you usually don't see that. So very difficult to react to. Nice. He punishes the spin. That's so hard to do. He had to get up really high up for that. And I don't know. Oh, I think he, yeah, he messed up the combo there. But nice. Good evasion around the assist and the EX spin. Yeah, Jake is still in this. 
Yeah, because he got the hit so high, right, chasing down the spin, it was a little bit tough to actually bring to the ground. And because of that, the lab coat lives to fight another day. We got the Gogeta on Gogeta action. Yeah, it takes lab coat out there just to recover that blue health there. But yeah. Got clipped after the jump S. Looks like he might have been holding up again. Oh, I love that. Gogeta here setting up shot. No up tech for you. You still got to hold this on the ground. Guard cancel. Does get him out. That was a real, two aging in scenario dashes are one of the hardest things to do in this game. That was really good stuff by Jake. Jake is still playing really well, I think. I think he's still putting a lot of fear into Kane. For sure, I mean, he's still still very winnable. Like, uh, the two characters that are not on point right now for Kane are one hit away. Big oh. super dash. Okay, okay. We're just gonna take the level three. I'm surprised they don't want the animation rock to get a little bit more damage there, but we'll take it. Get the Oki. Exactly the vanish. Oh, oh, oh but it didn't belt. combo the super dash no connect. No, it's not. Oh yeah, he had no Watch way the rot tag. Watch the rot tag. Oh, oh my goodness, I love that Kane right. He's not being linear with what he was gonna do. He's like, I know I'm on life support. That doesn't mean I'm trying to get rid of my character. Yeah, and even and the there. Anti string. Yeah, classic anti-reflect string there going into the 2M. It's gonna beat any reflect into 5M or any button like that. Good stuff by Kane. And there he uses that save tag, just immediately goes into the 21 for her super to kill him off with one bar and get a healthy character in. Oh, oh, he still has the chance. Ah, oh, but the Dodon Ray. I uh, have the assist available, we got expected. Yeah, yeah. Gets, gets hit by the Dodon Ray and Kane is able to just like game, but like I said, this is the same thing versus Fenrich. You know, he's, he's, he's scaring them. Yeah, he <laughs> they're sweating is. this. They really got to work for these wins, man. Yeah. Oh. Nice stuff from Kane, able to get that first hit at the beginning. Jake Ryan definitely betting big, had a DP and the assist behind it, but the way Kane maneuvers through all of that. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, that beats stuff like a match start five M's. That which is, you know, yeah. they're both playing Gogeta 4, right? So, Very so common. So you'd expect a match start five M like that, but you know, Kane just playing really safe. Doesn't wanna gamble with that match start RPS. And yo, you talked about Kane and this damage on this team, baby. That's two touch city. Man. No problem. Didn't need to go into anything complicated. Brings in the lab coat as well. Yeah. This is a uh, ideal start here in game two. Yeah, yeah, good stuff from Kane. Oh my god, they are spinning. Yeah, Kane needs a oh, find the barrier. I was about to say Jake needs a really big play there, and that could have been the start, but he drops a combo right afterwards. Oh. Yeah, he looks a, a little nervous, or looks like a little anxious, I would say, yeah. to try to get a hit, right? A little thirsty for it right there. So Kane doing a good job composing himself, just making sure he gets the punishes on the overextensions. And Jake said, you know, he was a little bit nervous yeah. about these matches before, so you know. He's keeping it together the best I think he can. I feel like he's still kind of playing his game, but you know, he, for sure. a few minor decisions are what's are kind of determining these matches. That was really one of maybe two moments that I've seen Jake like let the nervousness get to him. Besides that, he's been playing his game. Yeah, for sure. We'll try to stop him. Not nice. Locked him down with the Gogeta assist. Here, it's not protecting the neck right there. Gets behind. And we are good to go right here. Kane building to the meter. He's got four bars. Clinical. You can do the two bars here. Bow, bow. The homie. Yeah. Oh my god, he's dead, bro. Oh my god, dude. Tian, man. I, I think that's wow. the nice thing about Tian in tournament as well. Is yeah. You can do kind of easier combos. You don't have to do the really, really optimal stuff, and you'll still get that kill, which is so important in tournament. In tournament, you don't want to mess stuff up. You want to go for the easy stuff just to close the characters out. And when you put it like that, he really is the perfect character for Kane, huh? Oh, Jake, yeah. wake <laughs> up with the final, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I didn't think about it until you put it like that. <laughs> yeah, we saw Jake get real frisky on the wake up, still showing no fear. Oh, oh. we got 360 moves on multiple characters, baby. DP oh, with the red Gogeta. Oh, five bars on deck. Gonna get the level one. Yeah, and even the extra levels, they increase the damage on your okay. level one here. And Absolutely. that might make the difference here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just goes for the level three. Great stuff right there from Kane. Yeah, and it looks like that's it. Yeah, cleaning up the set. Pow. Taking the 2 0. Stuff from Kane. Does kill at the, the pools. I mean, Fenrich and Kane already have so many points. He took yeah. some L's early. Hopefully, that at least alleviates some of that pressure that he's feeling, right? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. For sure. I've you seen can even it see on the camera. Jake is smiling. Exactly. Yeah. He even looks more like himself now in this yeah. match. So we're going to see if. The, oh, that's how it plays out. But right now, the lab coat, the one striking first blood, catches Jake being a little cute in the air. Mm -hmm. 
Oh god, they both try to press buttons back, but you talked about the range on that 5k, baby. Oh man, it's so, so far. But yeah. One other thing too is when Jake, he's having a little bit too much fun. He tries to summon Shenron. <laughs> true, <laughs> he, he true, I forgot the about that. Of, the school of Reynolds, yeah, so to yeah, speak, you know? That, <laughs> I'll never forget during the Tournament of Power when it, Sage just tweeted, Reynold keeps summoning Shenron on yeah. me with an angry face. That is a, one of my go tweets. Oh, my God. Whoa! That was sick. Oh, come on, Nap. What did that call for? <laughs> but yeah, that 2 and 4 S is actually a frame 4 uh, armor option. Dude, I'm not going to lie to you. I did not see the other character in Me there. Me neither. I was Napo like, oh, why is so it? big? He was covering life, but I did not see life. I was like, why is it 73 hits? Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm glad it wasn't just me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so much damage. I was like, weird spark there. <laughs> Oh, oh, that 2L actually still a hit. I thought she was going to get high enough to avoid the hitbox, but no, sir. He's going to get the lap code assist here. You know what that means, Restand City. Oh, 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 he does it too fast. That, that idol actually comboed. Okay. That was supposed to be the mix-up, but yes. uh, yeah, I was able to jump out there. Bruh, that was a clean side switch combo. Nappa with the big boot with the glutes. Yo, Nappa. Nappa's so cool, dude. He is. <laughs> he actually is. so hype when he's on screen. I'm definitely <laughs> with you on that. Yeah, this is a great stuff from SLX. Right, we'll yeah. see what type of Jake Ryan is here for the for the anchor situation. Is it is it summon Shenron Jake Ryan or is it I'm trying to clutch this game out Jake Ryan? They're both the same. It's true. It's true. <laughs> oh yeah, spin some of that meter. Level three. Oh, he wants the nap, but you know he wants to end it in style, bro. Let the goons go to work. Oh, not even. Doesn't plan anybody. Yeah, yeah. I only want to get a little bit more frame advantage with the assist to get a side of the power. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. the Hezzy on the 2L right there just gets the counter hit, caught him flinching a little bit. That's the Lex taking the first game. Oh, that was good stuff. That was good stuff. Man, we got to see a nap every stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let me see some more nap, bro. <laughs> Jake taking a bit of water there. I get back into the game. We'll see though. The beginning of the at the beginning of the match of the first one, he kind of just jumped around, did a few too many jump S's there. Yeah, ended up getting too aged by the lab coat because of it. Oh my god, a lot of rage on that normal too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> lab yeah. coat, man, she she is the character of all time. <laughs> Her nails are done, fam. Like they yeah. are long, they are sharp. Oh man. Oh, it beats the DC. You can't spark if it doesn't hit or block. Oh, there you go. That, that was the, what was so smart about the way he kind of baited that out right there, right? Is that he left himself outside of range entirely, so there was no cancel option. Beautiful stuff right there from SLX. Yeah, yeah, good stuff for sure. I love that open up all like force. This. I like this from Jake. He's really playing around the assist a little bit better now, making them all with, just jumping over it. Oh, and then of course the spin as you land into it. You had to know it was on deck as an option. Ooh, brings him back mid-screen to toss him back into the corner. That was sick. Oh. Sparked up here defensively, right? We talked about the NA, the EU side of things. Definitely trying to spark up early for the defense. Yeah. Surprised he doesn't vanish cancel there. He wasn't sparking. Could have got a slightly better combo, but you know, we'll take it. Big drop. Oh, oh no! My oh, God. the hits <laughs> absorbed by the barrier. That's the legs. I've never seen a more lab coat moment yeah, in my exactly. entire life. <laughs> we are in the laboratory, fam. Yeah. <laughs> the scientists are oh, experimenting. Oh, my God, they are spitting. I think you try to do it again. <laughs> Oh, oh, man, dude. scientific method. If I spin, yeah. then I win. <laughs> <laughs> win to win, baby. <laughs> well oh, done man. right here. We got five Dragon Balls. Okay. Oh, five Dragon Balls. Five dragon. Yeah. Tell me, man. Jake Mike's going for this stuff. But he's got to land an auto combo or two. He does indeed. Got a couple of Dragon Balls to build. He's got to get to the seven meters as well. Oh, level one, are we gonna get the level three? Yes. Oh, this is a lot of hits actually. Just not throwing another guy in here. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like Estelle likes this game. Yeah. Oh, and he tried starts. something right there, yeah. but it gets shut down by it the does. big boot. Put the two fingers up, let him know who gets the dub. Estelle coming out back with a 2 0 victory.
my man's is really repping Damascus out here. He was like, nah, bro, if Damascus can't be here, there's a bald representative <laughs> on my team no matter what. <laughs> and you bald man just stopped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that was a good barrier right there, being able to absorb that hit assist, which is Poland. I like that assist a lot. Yeah, that's honestly probably one of the best defensive, if, all, if not the most the most powerful defensive assist in the game. Yeah. Right after after Roshi D got nerfed, like, I feel like the, the hit A stocks, they went up. Yes, you know? uh, like, 100%. Remember me? I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> remember me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most info assist in the game, don't ever forget it. <laughs> yeah, super, super potent assist right there. Let's yeah. see if it comes through in the clutch. It already actually was the reason he landed this first hit in the first place. Yeah. I think another really interesting thing, too, about this match is Ikuan, he used to be a hit player. He used to be the oh, wow. best hit player okay. before switching to this team. So he's familiar with, with the hit. Yeah, the yeah. Stuff, you know? He shouldn't got caught off guard by any shenanigans or any fake things. No. Oh, this is oh. a nice extension with the hit assist that time. He's just using it to cover in case it was blocked, but it ended up connecting. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing with Lapco, man, is she has such good solo Dragon Rush conditioning. She's got the 6H, she has the command grab, she's got the standing low, the debuff. You can't look for it all and still tech the Dragon Rush. It's really difficult. No, I hit setting up shop. Oh, just tried the Dragon Rush. That's the classic right there. Hit level three in the Dragon Rush. Oh, the tippy toes right there from Kefla. Beautiful conversion. Oh, now we got, we got the Assassin on screen hit. Ooh. Oh, gets the Reflect by them. That's a classic. What? No. That was I was expecting a rejump, but he actually had like a combo where he went and tagged into the floor, got a raw five, and that was so cool. Lab code or a Lamborghini Urus? I'm not sure. <laughs> One of the two. Yo, why does that still like have all these combos and so many characters? Yeah, for real, <laughs> though. Oh, well, we could have been canceled there, got a punish on it, but. Again. That hit A assist, man. It's so in full. All right, no more guard cancels. I've had enough. Yeah, <laughs> he's outside of this nonsense here, two ways ready. Taking down the airborne option with ease. Love that extension as well. Oh, he saw the reflect come out. He tried to dragon rush to take advantage of it, but the reflect into the raw attack was already committed. Yeah. Mm, set him down, open up shop. And we'll see what the mix gonna be. You know, one thing I really wanted to see this tournament, um, I, Cloud805 is actually the one that posted it. But after the level 3 OP that, uh, that Labcoat does there, you can do a perfectly timed TK EX spin for the cross up. Indeed. Yeah, it, it's Indeed. really hard to time. I was wondering if anyone was going to bring it to this tournament. But it is pretty difficult to input, so you know, maybe, yeah. maybe we won't see that. Hopefully, we do get to see it. Of course, there's still plenty of tournaments to go. We got a whole group of action in the top eight tomorrow. Plenty of chances for that to show out. Could have 2 h that. He was only in his 5M there. He could have actually 2 h that guard cancel damage. Just wasn't ready for it, though. She just kept swinging, but just keep swinging. <laughs> oh. And great conversion right there, too. He had to be very precise about that because it was a far on the first hit. Yeah, oh, it's a ton of meter, dog. too. That's yeah. not be enough. So probably just level three. You don't want to use uh, the, the other, the level yeah, one. Right? Yeah, so yeah. when a character is dead, you can do that as hit. You can DHC into basically the, the gun. We call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. unload all just the unload, meter. Yeah. yeah, yeah the but more I, meter you got, the more damage it does. But yeah, but you can't actually choose the amount of meter you want to spend. He will spend the remaining amount of meters. So he wants to save the bar, has two bars left, so. And the activity on that 5L right there. Oh, landing! Her on a second. Space. Oh, level one into the level three again. This coming. That's the Lex with the hit pick. Yeah, it's coming in hot right here. I like 60 on point with the hit assist, bro. Like, this is a potent duo. Yeah, for sure. Another player that actually plays the shell, Obi Assassin. Yeah, exactly. He'll be coming up in Group D as well. Yeah, yeah. The hit players are out in full force. He's got Wade as well in the other pool. Yeah, I believe it was Posey Acoustics that actually talked about how the top three from UFA is in that pool. Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, Wade, yeah. Zane, and Obi Assassin. Wild. Yeah, the, we got the Kefla Clutch Master, though. I saw so many nice. Oh, wow, he actually gets out of there. And he yeah, actually fell with a button that hit, hit. That's not easy to do, as you mentioned, very involved, but it does find the hit on 16, and we are in an anchor duel. Yeah, I've seen so many Kefla comebacks from each one, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets another one here. And for the clutch it out, that is his heart. 
Oh, oh, my God. oh, he's oh, so tough to know when you're able to move up against hit. Dude, I don't even blame. I feel like when you get negative frames on hit, it's so afraid that it's scary to hit a button. You can do the ex stance into the kick, but he mashes there. The dragon rushes. They have not been fighting their mark here. It's gonna be paid for heavily. The is not. Yeah, he didn't build to the level yeah. three to spin the dragon rush. Oh. The the Kepler top. Top. Oh my god, the vanish cancel to not get clipped. Oh my god. Still anybody's game, he doesn't 2 H here. I can't believe he's over oh. on there, but yeah. Hits his landing. S X reels back. So can't believe it. Yeah, yeah so scary that. right there. And I mean, it really felt like SLX's game the way it first started right equal on though. But you mentioned that Kepler has come back time and time again. He does it here once more. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I've seen, yeah, the comebacks he's done so many of them. But, but I'm not, I, he's still sticking to the hit. That's good. I, I, he had. He was doing really well that match. Yeah, honestly. he was. Oh, oh my spark. god! I, don't know oh. I can't. Indeed, the happy birthdays are here. I can't handle these happy birthdays. There's too many. Iguan <laughs> trying to blow out the candles here. Does it on the assist? Oh, oh and he does it god. on the point no character way. as well. Oh man, no, I just hit anchor. He's like, okay, hold on. I wanted to play hit, but not like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, oh no. <laughs> Oh, that was all on the character you nice. subbed this. And he's debuffed. Come on. Bruh. That's on, oh, man. That is so hard to come back from now. That was no mercy shown right there. To prioritize getting the debuff on the poor hit after yeah. all this. <laughs> Very smart, though. You can't show any mercy. This is the World Finals. You got to go hard. Equal on doing that exact thing. Yeah, another really good thing too uh, with uh, Equalon playing versus Hit is he's really been respecting the minus runs. He doesn't want to get hit by the EX kick. He blocked that EX kick there, and he still had like a really good sequence based on if he would have done a backdash or done it again. So it was definitely experience versus fighting it. Level three with the pop off here. All reflect was still active, and of course into the immediate attack right there. Japan special. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's good. It's always good to cro uh, to uh, reflect the cross up jump ends. I think that's yeah. something that not a lot of players do. Because to bait that, because you're reacting to the mirror dash, right? Yes. So to bait that, you would have to, as the other person, do an instant air dash into nothing. Yeah. Which is it's pretty weird, right? It's pretty yeah, unlikely. Yeah, yeah. It, nobody really does that, to be honest. Super yeah. follow up all the way through. Ecoon takes Ecoon the takes set. It. Two to nil over. Oh, man. He's got to give it up. All right, all right. Looks like the foot checks it. are finished. We got Kane versus Fenrich here. Both players keeping their hands warm, knowing that this match matters the most out of the entire set of the pools. Another really interesting to, thing, too, I actually do want to mention about Kane is he has a secret counterpick team. Mm. Uh, I don't know if he'll play it, but it does involve Luigi either. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I don't know I don't know if we'll see it, though. I, he's been doing so well with, with this team all weekend with, uh, with, with you know, his tried and true Gogeta, Lapto, yeah. Tien, so probably won't see it, but I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if he goes down a game, which is kind of just made busted out. And, uh, and the important thing to remember right now, as Fenrich is having such a great early start, is that in multiple sets, Kane has dropped the first game and then come back to win the set two games straight, right? So yeah. he shouldn't really feel that bothered by the way this first game is going. Fenrich in complete control. Really good two touch there. And he does such an optimal combo. He links the 5L into the Vegito assist. Man, bro. Too awful, dude. <laughs> Always and forever. And Kane, oh, stuffed on the approach. Of course, the Banshee Blast. Okay. Toss him out. Okay, into the level three here. Yeah, and I'm, you know, we talk about a two touch monster, right? He's going to put you in range to do so. If you get clipped once again, you better be careful. He does oh, work. the oh corner, my God. You know, <laughs> We don't even need to say it. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a corner, if there's a space on the corner, the drag, Dragon Ball players will cross you up. They know, they know it's there. They will mix you with it. If your neck's looking a little dirty, Fenrich is going to wash yeah. you. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, Loki, I kind of respect that you saved the spark there. I actually think a TN comeback is it probably is, the best bet, right? It's more in the cards than I think like a... Half of lap pose. Yeah, TM combat. I agree. Oh, in the dodo on Ray right before he lands. We talk about how potent that ability is. Oh man, this is the robbery character. He will rob you. Oh, he lets three bars loose. Let's get it. He got the chop. Yeah, before Kane was getting on the stage, he was he was imitating a, oh, really? a chop. Yeah, he's like, oh, this is what I'm about to do to Fenrir. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with the EX chop. 
We'll see if he gets an opportunity to do yeah, so. He Fenerich. does park now, though, for sure, after this. Oh, unless he dies. No, he's not going to get to play beneath. You know how this goes. What? Fenrich, bro. He's dead. <laughs> you thought he was going to get the spark, in, but no. I was like, Fenrich, all right, no, he's going to spark it. Then... <laughs> <laughs> well, man, apology, man, with that ass already getting into that yeah. mindset right here. Yeah. Like, okay. Let's That's see what happens on this next. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, there isn't a next. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> that oh is my God. a. Fit. I really was talking like he was alive. That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is what I was talking oh. about. He has the you have the intel, oh, the indeed. <laughs> and this is a team that he's been working with, Kasuga. It's a counterpick team. It's kind of like to counter the meta in a way. It's, exactly. It's pretty interesting. But Blue Vegeta, you know, he's got the air, air command grabs, the really weird key blast angles. But more than anything, I think he's just trying to get Fenrich off guard. Yes, for He's sure. not ready for this, but Kane has played this team a lot. He's mm -hmm. actually played this in tournament. He's gotten wins with this team over players like Yasha and, and Wade. So so the only the only detriment, I think, to bringing out this secret counterpick team is the fact that he's down 1-0, right? Yeah. So even if he gets the dub, that's a whole game of intel for Fenrich to kind of get used to it. But... It's still, it might be uh, tricky enough yeah, where one game is not enough. It, it's got, if, it, if he's going to win, it's going to be with this team now. Yeah, exactly, right? He's locked in at this point. And like I said, he's got these weird key blast angles. Blue Vegeta has so much hit stun off of him. He can really convert off of him in a good way, and he gets a hit. There's a Kefla, okay. Oh, yeah, the Kefla, let's see. She gets uh, shaken off, but nothing actually. Just waking up with the buttons. Fenrich showing no fear. Yeah. Might be a little bit of inexperience, just timing the safe slightly off. You know, that's not, that's maybe something that would happen with the team you're not like fully maining, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gets the hit there. That's really big. Let's see if he sparks, though. And brave for Federer to test him early like that, right? He was yeah. like, you know, this Bad. is obviously not your usual stuff, <laughs> so let me see if you can really need me properly. Yeah, another thing, too, is, you know, he's at least familiar with Kefla playing Equan, right? Yeah. So, you know, he's not completely in the dark about these characters. Nice. Probably going to bring a Blue Vegeta here. Get the health back. Yep. I like it. Get the Dragon Rush knocked down. <laughs> I love Blue Vegeta, man. He's so angry all the time. <laughs> oh, most definitely. I'm a big fan of Blue Vegeta myself right now. It's all big. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, the needy on the auto combo. Just kind of auto timing the tech frames. Nice. Oh no. Oh, it sparked oh, up. He off. wants to get rid of the yeah, Blue like, I don't wow. I care what you've been cooking up. Yeah. Blue Vegeta, I don't want to see it. <laughs> wow. See any of this. That is a rude way to get rid of this character, yeah. bro. He put him on the team just to counter you, and yeah. now he's not even gonna get a chance. Oh, oh so oh, 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 so oh. yeah, God. yeah. It's Fenrich. It's Fenrich. It's Fenrich, right? Fenrich. It's got... Man. Like, he he took me through a journey right yeah, there. Yeah, I was I like, was like uh, uh, at the beginning, I was like, oh, he's dead because it's Fenrich. And then I was like, oh, wait, he's not. Oh, I can't believe he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Weathering the storm right now. Blocking the overhead. That was good. Oh, actually, did not get cleared by the jump as the assist. That was pretty crazy. He blocked the 6M from Vegeta, but Vegeta doesn't have that 6-frame attack. So he read it back dash with the 5M. That was super smart. Oh! That was surprising. I thought he was ready for that super dash. But, you know, we're going to take that. I, I, Kane needs everything he can take at this point. 100%, man. He hasn't brought in the out. Yet. Oh, yeah. Scrambly situation was going to be very tough to convert from. Great job on the t Dragon Rush, though. Yeah, it's hard to see. You know, Kepler has the EX, uh, the EX projectiles there. And it has that flash that kind of looks like that Dragon Rush circle. Really hard to see. Uh, Kepler's Dragon Rush because of that. Okay, let's here. see the Kane 18 though. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah, let's see. The 17 is there. Oh, okay. I like that. Getting the help of your character in. He knows a barrier will end in death, so he wants to get that character that's bleeding out. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, barrier plus DPS says no thank you. I will be well, way over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just end up shop again, just trying to keep the plus frame going. Great call out. You want to do it again? You want to do it again? Ooh, That's the barrier happened. was coming. Such a good read by Kane. You can't call assist now, or that'll happen. Okay. Oh, oh and he actually okay. got yeah, two, some awesome. bonus damage. Oh, yeah, he did the, the 17. Uh, yeah, the EX. That's the counter assist yeah. call. You cannot call assist. That's that can you call assist. Call. 17 will teleport to where that assist is and will shoot downwards with that beam. And Kane is coming back. Yeah, he is indeed. Oh, commentator's curse, oh, baby. Man. Apologies, oh, man. man. <laughs> Welcome to officially being a caster, brother. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, man, I can't even find words. I was like, this is how it feels? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, level so three. Here we go with the time. spark. <laughs> oh, oh, no. He no. tried the 5K. Oh, comes up empty with it. It's going to be all on nice. Kefla. Okay, but now it's all down to Kefla. Wow, we'll see, though. We'll see. You know, like like I said, Kostka has taught Kane a lot of the Kefla yeah. 18 stuff. Let's we'll see what those lessons hold. Maybe he can still win this. Yeah, nice to block. Be what a block indeed. And on the 6M as well. Very oh, impressive. Doesn't block it. The double axe out of the overhead of her own. Great move from Kane. Hasn't really shown that yet in the set, so this is a prime time to pull it out. Vegeta is solo, not that great. He's a lot weaker when he doesn't have assist backing him. Does oh, one. No, let's no go! Kane no stayed Kane. alive in Staying the alive. set! Oh my god. That match was all over the place. Yeah. Kane, he picked it all up and he still was able to close it out. I don't know how Kane ended up getting that W to be honest with you. I need to go back and watch the VOD because it felt very much like Fenrich was going to get it clean away with that 2-0. Man, and the secret team, the, secret the, the, the team, counterfeit bro. team is working out. Hold on. I want to see more of the Blue Vegeta this game, too. And we'll see if he can make something more happen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, set up the record kick mix up with the assist behind it. Wait a minute. Blue Vegeta really good at setting up 50-50s with his EX Lariat. Yeah, that's one thing the character does have. Yeah. One thing with Vegeta, not really big hitboxes, more about the key blasts and the mix-ups. But yeah, gets the hit there. Drops the rejump. That's pretty rare from Fenrich. Yeah, and that's huge again. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, want to guess yeah, again. Yeah, saw it. That, that, that Larry puts you up just high enough to do a 50 50 mix up. Oh, the big bang attack. I love it. The manual version. Oh, my God. You did not expect to see Blue Vegeta this far in the uh, tournament. Yeah, man. And it's like the pick is actually working out. Fenrich actually takes a pretty big risk with that reflect there. It doesn't get punished. Oh, and big reflects coming out of the side of Kane as well, getting him out of huge trouble. Holt, raw tag, going to be able to convert. No, I don't think it's going to be for the kill, uh, right? The wing with Big Bang Attack is really weird, though. I like that. It does, oh. Don't do any weird assist combos with Big Bang Attack. That was good. Tag, oh, oh not man. quite enough. So, and of course, able to get him out immediately right there. Not really trying to scout a raw attack or anything like that. Maybe just trying to get that last bit of damage via Key Blast and the raw attack going straight through. Uh, you know, he's still got the spark available. I really want to see him keep the Blue Vegeta alive. That is kind of the, the core of the team, I, I think. Nice. EX Finn, that's a classic, though. Yeah, you got to remember, right? You have it. to respect it. That's, that's the classic, you know. From when she came out, man, it's, the Vantage, she's so good versus the Sparking Blast Vantage Cancer. She's the best character in the game of dealing with it. Whatever you expect, you must respect. Exactly. And right there, he did not respect that option. The 360 hitbox, air, ground, don't matter. It shuts down what you want to do. Yeah, but last, I mean, but last game, that Blue Vegeta wasn't even really a factor. It was mostly the Kefla yeah. and mostly the 18. Yeah, honestly, Blue Vegeta did more damage this game than he did last game. Yeah. So, uh, he should feel all right in this position. The spiking down a character. These are full nice. health. Good job reaction. He didn't go farther than that string. He reacted to the barrier so quickly. Kane's still in it. Ah, it does get toe tapped. Looked like it was a light starter, so not too much damage here. But regardless, you know how Fenrich gets down. He's going to make you hurt. Yeah, it doesn't float there. Get that little space in the corner that he's been using so much from the level 3 OP. And he's going to stay same side. Oh, okay. It was all the way in the yeah. corner, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, he blocks the low, but gets Steve up. No! Oh. Yeah, that's going to be rough. A nice job teleporting out after the yeah, up tech. Yeah. Nice. He baits out all the assists, too. Maybe he can take advantage of the cooldown here. Nice. Really good anti-air. Really good stuff with the anti-air shot there. Good reflect on the Gogeta assist as well. Not going to get bullied into a mix-up. Oh! Super dash. Straight hey. up. Hold on. Yeah, tag him out there. You know, your character's debuff. You want to bring in your character that can actually do some real damage. Mm -hmm. And mix it. Exactly. 18 going to get the level 3 here. One of the best level 3 Okies in the game. Left or right. It's the front. I can't believe it was front. I thought it was possible. I know. I did not block that. She put on the emergency brake to stay in front yeah. right there. It really looked like she was going to sail past her head. Great blocks regardless. <laughs> no, not no, enough. No. Oh, 17. My boy. I'm never oh. alone. The 17. Oh, man. It felt like that's he real stopped one. with that one, yeah. too. Like the ride or die coming oh, out. Oh, my God. That's a real one. Can't call assist. Can't call assist. Oh no, Reflect 5M, that's so much damage. Oh my. After all this, bruh. After all this, a Reflect 5M. Grab your help. Oh, team. Oh. Okay, 
Okay, level three. Yes, indeed. No vanish, at least, available. You know, the same slide option, I don't think, is enough to kill him. Oh, so he just does the regular OP. I respect yeah. that. Trip just the, the dash up into the two up. Nice tank. Huge right there. Keeping that 18 alive, I mean, that's everything. Yeah, nice, yeah. yeah. You know, he's at least getting some blue health back on the 18, at least. Indeed for now, sends it to the ground. All these hits are just not, not solid hits. They're not enough to do it. As he jumps to the same side floor, that was so good. Yeah, and the super dash catches the start of the Banshee. Kefla. I thought he would bring an 18 there for the level three mix up. I think, oh yeah, Shu Kefla is the one that's oh, nerfed as well, debuffed, but it I doesn't matter. Imagine. She's still going in. I gotta imagine 18 level three is coming here. Oh, level three with Kefla, Kefla level three. He really feels I'm confident surprised. in her offense. Okay. Let's see what happens. The 18 assist isn't even available at this point. What the mix going to be? Oh, what a block. Oh, okay. Ridiculous. Nice tech there. Good defense by Kips. Oh, the Gogeta assist no barely way. clips her and has still enough hits up for him to combo it's off of it. It's like a frame off of punishing the EX legs. He was so close. He had it. Heartbreaker right there. Still only 18 is alive. And oh, she God. never fights alone. 17 oh, is there, but gets no, tapped on the forehead. And looking deflated. Oh my god, he was so close. And Fenrich, we talked about his optimizations time and time again. When he hits you, you die. Fenrich gonna make it out of Group C and winner's side of things. Of course, big ups to Kane as well, making it out in losers. Wow. Kane really heartbroken right now. And I understand it, you know, he was preparing that, that counter.